Hi guys, welcome to today's video. This new video is all about homeschool. How we homeschool, why we homeschool, and what our homeschool day looks like. I'm just gonna jump right into the video and start off with why we decided to homeschool. So basically, I have, I have three older sons. The oldest one just turned 29, and they go from 29 all the way down to almost 21. problems not a lot of issues they all graduated they all did okay in school some better than others and now I have two daughters two years ago a really good friend of mine said I think I'm gonna homeschool my kids and I said oh why would you do that at the time I totally bought into the whole school system I bought into the whole socialization you know homeschool is great but what about socializing like your kids are gonna suffer and I actually said that to her and she was super patient with me thank goodness and she said I think you'd like to homeschool and I was like yeah you know homeschooling would be amazing to me but I would never do that to my kids like I just would never do that to them so as time went on, she kept on telling me things about her day and about homeschooling for them. And I started to get this desire in my heart, like, I wish I had that with my kids. And then um, she kept on saying to me, you know, you should read up on it. So I said, okay, I'll just read up on it. So I started to read up on it. And that's when the fire really started to burn for me. I started reading about how um, you can plan your day around all your other schedules individualized education. Instead of the girls being in a group of 24 or 25 kids, there'll be one-on-one -on -one education. And I started to think, wow, that's cool. We could study whatever we want. Instead of them going to school and learning the curriculum, instead they could learn all the things that they're interested in. They could read books that they were interested in instead of the ones that were assigned by the school, like Sophia would bring home in kindergarten that were called soccer and dump trucks <laughs> that it was so hard to get her to read them because she was not interested in them we could choose our own books we could choose our own learning style i could teach them to the way they learn instead of teaching them to the test it would open a whole new world for my kids and a whole new world for our family so i kept researching and about three months into my research i said to my husband i think i want to homeschool and he said are you crazy? And I said, yeah, I, I think I'm kind of crazy. And then I started to do to him what my friend did to me. And I started to read things to him and send him information and say, hey, you know, we were homeschooling. We could do blah, blah, blah. And over time, he started to say things like, well, if you homeschool, blah, blah, blah. And I, I could tell that he was getting in on it too. And then we were a little worried about what our friends and our family were gonna say. But by the time the next school year was around, came around, I knew that I was gonna homeschool. I had already started compiling curriculum and papers and websites and all the stuff that I was gonna need to teach my kids who were in grade two and grade four at the time. I was scared, oh my gosh, I was so scared. My little dog, Cookie Dose, come here to spend time with me. She wants to be in the video. You wanna be in the video, Cookie? She's like, yeah, I do. Anyway, I was scared, I was so scared. Every new person that we told that had a negative idea about homeschool because they weren't educated about it, the more scared I became. In Ontario, to homeschool your kids, all you need to do is file a letter of intent with the school board. So I just printed the paper off the internet, filled it in and sent it to the school board. And basically it just says, hey, I wanna homeschool my kids. And they say, great. So I need to do that every single year. And after that, what we do is up to us. And it has been amazing. So I'm gonna tell you guys about our homeschool day. Basically, we don't have to get up early in the morning anymore. The kids can sleep until they are done sleeping and that has impacted their behavior in a massive way. They can eat when they're hungry. They can work at their own speed. So if one kid is working really fast and gets done before the other, it's it's totally fine. There's no time limits on how long they can work. Because it's individualized education, it takes us 
quarter of the time to get all of our work done. We can do more work than they did in school in four hours. Our school day usually consists of four hours of work. We do half of our time on the computer on specific programs and curriculum that we have, and we do the rest of the time together using book workbooks and papers that I print out for them. We do projects and it's so casual and so relaxed. Often my girls are doing schoolwork with a little puppy all tucked into their side. girls did well in school, they had friends in school, and they liked school. Um, I asked them if they wanted to do homeschool and they were like, yes, I want to do homeschool. We are a little into our second year of homeschool and to this day I can say, hey, do you guys like to homeschool? And before I even finish the sentence, they're saying yes. Like they do not want to go back to school. When I was doing all of that research, I learned that schools are designed to teach that child that is right in the middle. Um, the child that can just listen or just look at something and learn easily, but there are so many different kids in the world. There's so many kids, you guys. They, that I mean, I don't learn unless I physically do it myself. I'm an eclectic learner, and there are so many millions of eclectic learners. Those are the people that fall through the cracks and don't learn the way the schools are designed to teach. And basically what happens is that people start feeling like if they didn't do well in school, it means that there's something wrong with them. And I did not want that for my kids because there's nothing wrong with anybody. If you don't fit into the school system, that does not mean there's something wrong with you. It means there's something wrong with the school system. Um, I have kids that learn really well. My oldest daughter can look at something and be like, oh, I understand that. Whereas my younger daughter needs to really work on it and she needs to think about it for a long time. It takes her a little longer to get things that some other kids might get in two seconds. Does that mean she's dumb? Nope, not at all. She does amazing. But she needs to learn in her own way. And um, with homeschool, if she's not getting something and she's really not getting something, I can stop come back to it in a couple of weeks, or I can just keep going and going and going until she actually gets it, and that's what we do usually. And the foundation that I'm setting with her is absolutely amazing because we can take the time that we need. One of the biggest advantages that I found with homeschooling my kids and one of the biggest reasons that I wanted to homeschool my kids was social skills. I wanted my kids to homeschool so that they could have the best social skills. You're probably thinking, wait, what? Homeschool equals better social skills? It doesn't even make sense. But now I see things completely differently. Whoever thought that throwing 24 kids all the same age into a group with very little supervision is, is good socializing? Socialization skills should mean that you know how to talk to adults, you know how to talk to smaller kids, you know how to talk to your peers, you know how to handle, you know how to um, deal in all different situations. Putting all kids the same age in the same group and throwing them into a classroom and having very little supervision is not my idea of a great setting to build social skills. I know a lot of you guys have had experiences in school with bullying and behaviors from other kids that have not made you feel really good about yourself. And a lot of that I think has to do with the fact that there's just not enough supervision and it is not the teacher's fault. It's because just schools are just not set up that way. One teacher or two teachers for 25 kids, it, it, things happen. Things happen, kids say stuff, kids get bullied and it just gets missed. But in my heart, I've always believed that when you're young, that's the time to learn. That's the time to be taught how to treat each other, not just throw them into a group and hope that they, it all works out for the best. So the very first thing that happened to us when we started homeschooling is I noticed a huge change in my kids. They became happier. They have, they're have they so much more secure in who they are because they don't have people telling them bad things about themselves all the time. They're not in a negative environment. And I'm not saying that all schools are a negative environment, but you know, but you know what I'm saying. I'm saying, that they're in a positive, loving, happy environment where they're encouraged and loved and there's no hate in our homeschool. They've learned to treat everybody the way that we treat them and it's just been incredible. They have lots of time for their peers. They have sports that they do. Um, the girls both ride horses and they have girls at the barn that they interact with. They have play dates with their friends. My 
kids are happier than they have ever been. I'm giving them the option of when they want to go to school, if they ever want to go to school, if um, I'm leaving it up to them. But so far, it has been a blessing and I can't imagine doing it any other way. I made this video just to answer your guys' questions. I um, not in any way to make anybody feel bad if they can't home the school their kids I don't want to make it seem like the school system is all bad because it's not there are a lot of advantages to going to school that my kids don't have but the but the advantages of staying home and the benefits for us far outweigh the advantages in our situation in the end I believe that God has a plan for everybody that doing what is the best thing for you is the only way to live an authentic life and when you're living your authentic, your own authentic life, it can be the most amazing experience ever. I wish that for everyone, whether it mean going to school and living that kind of a life or staying at home and living that kind of a life. Um, that's all I have to say about homeschool. If you have any questions at all, just um, feel free to reach out to me through social media and ask them, oops, and ask them or comment below. I'll see you guys later on our next video. Bye. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.